Throw it in the car. G'day, welcome back. So as you've seen from the last few videos, we've now got an Alfa Romeo on the fleet. I had no plans of getting an Alfa Romeo, it just kind of happened and we're just going to go through kind of how and why it happened. So first thing to say is the Audi All Road, it's gone. It's gone to a good home. It's gone off to be a, a rally car and a charity rally, uh, raising money for Cure Kids, which is a New Zealand based charity that funds research into child childhood illnesses and that kind of stuff so really good stuff i'll put a link down there somewhere so you can go and follow and give them lots of money that's awesome um so yeah we got now for a mayor oh no there's another step first so i got rid of the audi all road and then came up on the local auction site was this audi 100 ute conversion and why anyone would convert an audi 100 saloon i presume or a station station wagon into a ute i don't know um but i kind of wanted it and it was five hours north from here it was on a one dollar no reserve auction so i was i was pretty keen to get hold of that um as it turns out it went for too much money i did put a bid on i tried to get it uh, but it went way beyond what i was prepared to pay for it um so yeah i didn't end up with that but that night i was a little bit sad I was watching The Great Outdoors with a wife. Fantastic movie. And um, I just opened up Facebook Marketplace uh, just to have a look and see what cars were on there. And um, sure enough, there is this 1998 Alfa Romeo 156 2 litre twin spark in manual that was there for not a lot of money. And they dropped the price by $1,000. And it was one owner, one New Zealand owner, it's a Japanese car, extra ex-Japanese car, um, 15 years with one New Zealand owner, they wanted rid of it, they dropped the price, it was about half an hour from here and I had money left over from selling a car and so I went and looked at it and bought it. Uh, I've driven an Alfa Romeo once before this, it was in about 1998, uh, my brother where he worked he got a couple of lease Alfa 145s and um, he said, oh, I'll take this for a drive. Uh, so I took it for a drive around Castle Morton Common. Well, the signs are here at the campsite at Castle Morton near Malvern that there's been a steady trickle away from the site by some festival goers. And um, in comparison to the Citroen BX I had at the time, it was quite nice, quite sporty, quite fast. Lots 
to be said about a brand new Alfa Romeo 145 that I didn't own and I was just driving. Um, also a big fan of other Alfa Romeos like the 33, the 75, especially the Cloverleaf models. Um, the 155 Touring cars, pretty awesome. Uh, I have been in an Alfa 156 before, in about 2001, 2002. My friend Mark Fish, he borrowed one as a company car for a while and um, it had a few problems. It was fairly new, it had a few problems. Uh, made a few funny noises, uh, but it was kind of fun to drive. I think that was a two litre twin spark too. It's probably very similar spec to the one I've got. Um, but yeah, so I don't know a lot about Alphas. I enjoy looking at them from afar, but never really did buy one until they came up cheap. In terms of price, I won't tell you the figure, but I can tell you that uh, if I'd bought 23 oil filters from Repco, that's about the same price as I pay for my Alfa Romeo. So I could have had 23 oil filters or an Alfa Romeo. I had the Alfa Romeo. Uh, you've seen some of the work I've done already. I've done a good service. Um, I drove it 200 kilometers last night. It goes great, works really well. Um, there are a couple of issues I still need to fix. So you've seen the CV boots in the service video. I've got two leaking ones there. There's also a slight water leak that I, I noticed. It's two short rubber hoses off that go to the oil filter, oil cooler on the filter housing. So a few jobs to do. And then we need a plan for this car. So my plan at the moment, and hopefully I can pull it off, is uh, next Saturday there's a track day. It's in Christchurch, half an hour away. Uh, hoping to take the car to a track day and give it heaps on the track. Uh, but in order for that to happen, I need to fix those CV boots, need to fix the water leak. And well, that's about it. That's about it really. So um, hopefully if the parts turn up in the next day or two, we should be sweet for next weekend. Otherwise it'll be the month after. Uh, but yeah, I thought this would be a pretty cool track day car. Um, yeah, in terms of my impressions driving it so far, it handles really nicely. It's got really kind of, got a real tight turn in. Um, not too many turns, lock to lock. Um, so yeah, it feels quite sporty. Uh, Performance wise, it's not overly fast. It's a two litre, 155 horsepower, four cylinder. Uh, it's got variable valve stuff. Um, so it revs to 7,000 revs, makes a nice noise, but doesn't really go too fast. But that's what I'm happy with that. Um, I'm much rather be able to rev the tits off something and not go too fast and um, gonna be doing 130 in second gear and then get bored because that's as fast as well it's too fast anyway uh, so yeah it's, it's quite a fun car um, got it for the track we'll use it on the track and we'll see where we go from there um, whether we trade it for someone else or we keep it and develop it into a bit more of a track day car I don't know but um, I like it I like driving it um, it's a bit of fun hopefully you like it too uh, so if you're here for the Alfa Romeo stuff, welcome. If you're here for a Morris Minor stuff, I was supposed to do a video on that this week, but I didn't, maybe next week, maybe the week after, we'll see. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, we've got some more Alfa Romeo stuff coming up and um, surely some Morris Minor stuff soon. I need to get it done, but anyway. Uh, so yeah, there we are. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you for the next one. Cheers. <coughs> oh, very good, come on.